Wow. <laughs> it's us once again, huh? We're together once again. Listen, I'm so glad you came. Before we started prayer, let's give them that theme song. Welcome back. Stay humble, even when you're in trouble. Faith in God, don't give it to the devil. Face, make a nigga real humble. Looking for the trouble, but we living in the jungle. Humble, even when you're in trouble. Faith in God, don't give it to the devil. Face, make a nigga real humble. Looking for the trouble, but we living in the jungle. That's my joy. Stay humble. Even when you were trouble, faith in God, don't give it to the devil. Welcome back. Welcome back. If Listen, if you've been a part of this show, I love you. I'm glad to hear you, see you, feel you, your energy. When you're listening, I feel you. Trust me. I do. I do. And if you're new to this, welcome to the first interfaith conversation where it doesn't matter what denomination you come from, Christian, Muslim, uh, Buddhist, atheist, uh, whatever. Welcome. Give them a round of applause. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Thank you for showing up. And this it's just one of those conversations that's open and accessible to everybody. We're on all major podcasts. We're on Ap- Apple Podcasts. We are on Amazon Podcast. I bet you didn't know that. All major podcasting platforms in search of God with butter. So save us in, follow. We we get down and we get we have a good time. Now I wanted to talk to y'all about a topic that I know that you guys are familiar with. And it's jealousy. Ooh, when you say when you say jealousy, you gotta play a sound effect for it. Here you go. Jealousy. You know what I mean? Like, it's a deep word. It's an ugly word. It's it's something that we're all familiar with, and we learn how to sort of deal with it. It's interesting because I took my time to kind of weigh in on this one because I thought it sounded really negative. I try to stay away from negative conversations. I try to stay away from discussions that can only end up with information that's not going to motivate you to a higher sense of being and and community and positivity. But I think it's one that we really need to talk about. I just got finished listening to this brother. I didn't even know this brother was from Newark, man. You know, peace. Shout out to Newark, New Jersey. Shout out to Newark, New Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to everybody from Newark, New Jersey. And uh, this brother had been to prison. I didn't, First of all, I didn't even know his story. Let me tell you how I came upon him. Long story short, two sentences. Instagram. This dude is like this muscle bound dude that runs up on people and kind of kicks their food out of their hand. And I just thought that this dude was, I said, maybe this is this moronic entertainment, but it was pretty interesting. But I just heard this brother uh, tell, give a message that really fed into this idea about jealousy. He was talking about a drive that he was doing that he met with the mayor of Newark, right? And think about it, you know. I didn't find that until afterwards. This dude had been incarcerated. This dude had been in the street. He turned his life around, and he's this fitness guy that does this crazy thing on uh, IG. And uh, he sat down with the mayor of Newark, 
told him that he wanted to do a food drive for uh, for kids and mothers around Thanksgiving. He had went and he, he he printed out flyers, right? Because he was like, you know what? I want to hand, you know, do the old school way. Not just IG and Facebook. I'm going to uh, hand out flyers. So he went downtown North, was handing out flyers and letting parents know when they can come and get school supplies for the kids and and uh, and food supplies if they were in need. And then he said that one of his friends came upon him and was like, yeah, bro, like, what you doing out here? And he was like, what you mean what I'm doing out here, man? You know what I'm doing? You know, because he said the guy that had approached him was one of his supporters, the people who clearly supported the things that he was doing positively in the community. He said, man, what you doing out here? He said, man, you know what I'm doing out here, man? I'm giving out these flyers, telling these ladies about the event so they can come get their kids book bags, pencils, uh, she, he was giving out food supplies. He's like, man, you can't be out here like that. And he, he said he almost got offended. He was like, man, I can't be out here like that. What you trying to say? He's like, man, do you know how much you have inspired us? And he was like, oh, man, you know, he was really appreciative that he would say something like that. He said, man, you are like our Nipsey Hustle. May he rest in power. He said, you went and you took turn you took your life, turned it around as a person who was from this area. And you're constantly doing something positive. You can't be out here like that. And he was like, "Wait a minute, I don't, I'm, where you coming from? You're like you, you, you just gave me a, a compliment saying how much I am inspiring to you. Seeing me come out of these streets, seeing me come out of these situations that you have been in, and a lot of people in my area has been in. You tell me I can't be out here." He's like, that's exactly why you can't be out here. He said, man, you don't understand that for how, as many people that you may motivate, there's people who want to see you fail. Yeah, you heard me right. As a matter of fact, play the sound effect. <laughs> you heard me right. He said, do you know for, how, for the same amount of people that you, that may look and be inspired and say to themselves, man, I would, I can do what he did because he did it. Now I know what it looks like. He said, as many people dislike what you're doing. As many people want to see you fail. As many people who are inspired, drawn to, and uh, amazed by seeing you get out of prison, they got the same people that want to see you in prison. He was like, wait a minute, what you mean? So how would, how is that possible? I'm out here giving of myself. I'm giving away stuff for free. I'm humbling myself and, and making myself accessible, using whatever influence I have to help my people. How could somebody want to see me hurt? And he was like, man, you got to understand, there's still people who you may have grown grown up with who still may be in them situations. There's people who you grew up with who had family members that that died, you know, doing the things that you did, but they didn't survive and they're no longer here. There are people who grew up with you in the areas or who may not even, even have known you, but grew up in the same time, in the same area, in the same demographic, in the same situation, who didn't turn their lives around, who's still in that struggle, and they hate to see you no longer in that struggle. And I know it's hard for you, my brother, to understand that because your intentions are positive. Your intentions are pure. You just want to show people through your example what they can do, but they hate you for it and they will hurt you for it. And it was a big eye opener to him because I think a lot of our people, especially our people where we live in a day and time. And I took my time to talk about may he rest in power, young Dolph. Because so much was being said about it. Uh, it really every time I hear somebody has lost their life to gun violence, I take it personally because I have lost a brother to gun violence. Gun violence is senseless and, and senseless gun violence in a way that the person that killed him didn't even intend to kill him. But bullets don't have a name. So if you get out and you're shooting at somebody and there are people in the way, those bullets don't have a name. And one of those bullets who was meant for somebody else being shot by somebody who never even got a chance to meet my brother formally took my brother's life. One of those bullets. And my brother lay on the ground Die. You can read the article to this day. Sometimes I pull it up. And there are people out here who will hurt you, 
who would take your life and just like look and then and then it's 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 crazy not to get off topic because we're talking about jealousy but it's a part of it it's a part of the it's a part of it for for young black men men for men as a whole our lives have been so devalued even in in our own community that we can get murdered in our community and and it just is you know it's just another occurrence so as many people who may have and I don't know him personally I don't know his story I'm not going to speculate about anything cuz he deserves anybody deserves more respect than that but I'm sure that there were people who did not like to see Dolph may he rest in peace his success I'm sure because there were people who were still in the situations that he rose up from and having a misunderstanding. And trust me, we all feel, let me put myself on blast. We all feel jealousy sometimes. Jealousy just comes out of an emotion. When you see somebody doing something, when you see somebody receiving a blessing, when you see somebody receiving favor, when you see somebody receiving attention and you need and you want and you you need and you want that attention and blessing too. It's understandable. It makes you human. And in this world and life, the sun don't shine on us at exactly the same way all the time. Right? When the sun is, when the earth is moving on its axis and it's dark on one side of the, the world, it's light on the other side of the world. And then it keeps turning and it gets dark over here, light on that side of the world. Right? So when we when we go through those eventual, those normal patterns of darkness, so to speak, and we and there's light on somebody else, it makes us feel some type of way. And that doesn't make you evil, that makes you human. I feel it myself too. I've seen it and I felt it. And I I'll even remark to myself, like, whoa, Nigel, really? And I'll check myself. I've learned to check myself, like, wait a minute. When you see somebody doing something amazing, when you see somebody who has escaped the struggle, when you see somebody doing well, take yourself out of the terms of it. Because sometimes we think about ourselves, well, we no longer talk to you, no longer talk to me. Forget you. Be happy for that person because that person's showing you what you can do. They're showing you what is possible. It has no real impact on you. If you turn around and you win the lottery, it don't make me broke. If I'm broke, I'm broke whether you broke or not. I don't want us both to be broke. And that's what I tell myself when I feel that jealousy. I'm like, what What did you want, Nigel? Did you want that person to not do well to, so you can feel better about your situation? Yes, that's what a lot of people want to feel. If you're struggling, if you're going through tragedy, they can live with it. They'll even be the ones that are right there, oh, you know, feeling bad for you. I'm so, is everything Okay. But don't you turn around and do good. Don't you turn around and, and get a degree. Don't you turn around and lose 100 pounds. Don't you turn around and buy a Benz. They can't handle that. They were cool when they saw you struggling, when you had lost, when you were down. Don't turn around and start no business. No, now we got a problem. So black men in their own neighborhoods go back because we feel connected. We want to show our neighborhood. We want to show our people. We want to show the people who rose up, who, who live in the situations by which we rose out of that is possible. And a lot of people will be inspired by that. You, you can change the world. Just like Tupac said, Tupac said, I, don't, I may not change the world, but I guarantee I will spark the mind that will change the world. So he knew that even his own life, his own movement, his own thoughts were limited. But what he did would inspire people forever. But for somebody, it wasn't good enough. Somebody took him off this planet with a gun. How cowardly could you be? Took him off the planet because it was too good. He was doing too good. And it's something that we got to talk about in our community. I'm going to challenge my community because we got to stop that. No, that, that person doing too good. And then even the people that do that's doing good, they got a twang about them too. Like it's almost like a us, we feel like we're against the world instead of motivating and inspiring because we know the jealous one still envy. And peace to Fat Joe because he's the one that came up with that. J-O-S-E. 
That's why he named he 